Ah, the bandit camp in Rust. Home to some of the most degenerate gambling that the world of Rust can offer. I was going to spend the next seven days here, pushing the boundaries of what people, NPCs, and quite frankly, my sanity can handle. The goal itself was very simple, to get as rich as I possibly could without leaving the safe zone. Day one begins with us arriving to our new home with a fresh mind and ready to take on anything. That was Bandit Camp. No, that was an MP5. Bandit Camp's right here, though. <gasps> Have we made it? Please. Embrace me with your safe zone. Oh. Oh, we're in. Feels good. We made it. We're safe. We can no longer die. Well, now we get started. The first thing we need to do is to work on getting ourselves a fishing rod. Because if we can fish, we can catch fish. And then we can trade it to get more scrap. Uh, the only way that we can get rope without leaving the safe zone is either farming the barrels or we um, we beg someone. <laughs> uh, let me go. Let's, let's see if there's any barrels out here that we can farm. On our first circle around the bandit camp, I couldn't actually find any barrels. So I resorted to asking the locals. Do you have any help. rope? Yeah, what's up? Oh, no. Okay, let's go farm some stuff to trade. Yeah, I need to. I need to get some food. Where's that guy? Is that, is that guy swimming around? Wait, what's that over the rock? Is that a message from Corporate Brit from today's sponsor? Today's video is sponsored by Epic Games. I've recently had the joy of being in contact with Epic Games about their new Fortnite game mode called Fortnite Zero Build. So I remember when Fortnite first came out back in the day and how amazing the game was. But as time went on, I couldn't keep up with the amount of skill that some players had with the building. Surprise, surprise. And that's where Fortnite Zero Build comes in. In this game mode, there is no building at all. Without building, all players have their overshield as the first line of defense instead. I can finally feel better about myself for being eliminated by people who are far better than me oh but this time without building <laughs> it's been a long time since i played any fortnite and this game mode definitely makes it more fun to jump back into and they have definitely added a bunch of new things since the last time i played wait i can put myself i'm <laughs> is that a quest oh oh my days they do a lot of damage Oh my god, run away! Oh, run! I died? <laughs> I died! What is this guy? Where'd he go? I can drive? What? There's cars? Okay. <laughs> oh, drifting. Obi Wan's lightsaber. What? <laughs> okay. This is the coolest thing ever. You can find the Zero Build game mode in the Discover page and you can play as a solo, you can play duos, trios or squad. You can use my link in the description to jump in and play some Fortnite Zero Build now. Thank you very much for Epic Games for sponsoring today's video. Enjoy. That's a bit. Hey, mister. Okay. Oh, it's you again. What's up, dude? A couple of guys. Farming some wood. Man, there has to be... Oh, there must be like... Are those sulfur nodes? They might be sulfur. Is that sulfur? That is sulfur, isn't it? How far does the safe zone extend? Oh, we need food bad, dude. We need a little bit of scrap, don't we? Ah, uh, this is not good. This is not good. I can't drink that water. That's not good water. In the excitement of arriving to bandit camp, I forgot that my character actually needs food. And if I didn't get food quick enough, my hunger bar would deplete and I would die. Hey, man. Oh, hey, on the horse. Hey. What? Hey, anyone, anyone spare me some scrap? Oh, oh I nearly stole your horse. I will sell you sulfur for scrap. Just need food. Hey, mister, do you want to buy some sulfur? Please. No. What about, what about, have you got any food? I am on zero hunger and I'm about to die. Even like, uh, like a scrap off your shoe, you know, anything. Can you spare me anything? This guy is not participating. Hey man, you got any food? I could, I could uh, give you some sulfur. We could trade. I take that as a no. Why is no one friendly, man? What the hell? He just turned his back on me. <laughs> it seemed as if the locals weren't too keen on helping me out. But if you throw poop at a wall for long enough, sometimes one of them's going to stick. Hey, you want some sulfur? Please, in the shop. That's all I've got. I just need some food. Please. I'm going to die. It's all on you, man. Hey, over here. He said, come to the shop. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey. <gasps> Ten scrap! Oh. Food! Food, get out of the way! It's out of stock! 
Oh, that's the cost of it. Oh, no. You need to go to the other one. Wrong one. Which one is it? Which one is it? Oh, no. I'm going to die. It's over here, right? Come on. Come on. One health. No. Please. Damn, that was close. And now we can stand here and we can heal, heal up. Isn't that incredible? That was that was like last second stuff, man. With a belly full of tuna, it was now time to focus on getting a fishing rod. We just need to somehow get rope. If we can get like a barrel or two, like because they do spawn, like barrels do spawn here. All right, recycling the cans. What was that getting me? I mean, I can't. Uh, it's just stuff to trade, really, isn't it? 40 metal frags. That's not going to help me at all. I mean, that, that guy gave us 10 scraps, so it, it is possible to get scrap. There are some friendly people in this game. If I can farm up some more sulfur, I could probably do like a bigger trade. Oh, is that in the safe zone? Please, please. Oh, chat. Right, okay. Boys. These barrels are very important. <laughs> please. Summon kits or rope. Please. <sighs> okay. Ah, no. Hey. It's so Whoa, you're kind of geared, dude. This, this, like, this... This video is just going to make me realize how toxic the Rust community is. <laughs> I can recycle that for tarp. As soon as we get a fishing rod, man. It's plain sailing. Be easy. The rest of the first day wasn't very exciting. I did a little bit of gambling overnight to cure my boredom. And then finally, at around 2am on the second day, I ran into two of probably the only friendly players in Rust. Are you guys got any rope? Like, I just like, just two rope. I can I can give you a pickaxe or something. These guys are loaded. Come on. Yeah. You do? Uh, I'm just gonna wait until they finish recycling. You know, I'll, I'll be patient. Please, please, please. Let's get you. Did you get anything good? Hey, you got any rope? I need two rope. I'll leave you alone if I could get two rope. Please. I, I'm, I'm in desperate need. One second. <gasps> <gasps> oh, you're a legend. Thank you so much. Oh, we've done it. We've done it. <laughs> Fishing rod. Let's go. Oh. And we've got two spare rope. And it's daytime. Ah! Could any more good things happen? Okay. This was it. This was the moment that I could continue with this challenge. Is all I had to do was catch a fish. I could then gut that fish to catch more fish for a never ending cycle of fishy goodness. It all depends on catching a fish. Is that a shoe? I spent the rest of day two trying to find bait to be able to fish. And that's when this pig made the mistake of walking into bandit camp. How did I just take damage? What? I'm in a safe zone. Don't run. No pig. Yes, go in the water. Yes. Yes. Ha ha. Ha ha Yes. Wait. That's going to give... Oh, cloth? Leather? Pork? The food is bait. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> this is big. This is the moment. What is this? Oh, it's definitely a fish. A sardine. All right. There's a certain machine in Bandit Camp that would allow me to purchase anything from any shop all over the map. And one of those shops was at the fishing village. 
This shop allowed me to send two catfish and 20 scrap to receive 65 scrap in return. Actually getting so much loot. Look how much animal fat I've got. 133 animal fat. That's valuable to some people. We have 92 scrap. Dude. Psh, can I buy some tuna? <laughs> yes. I have broken a sweat. I spent most of day two and day three hitting level 99 fishing on Rustscape. Until on the eve of day three, I met a really nice Russian man that would change X. the course of my wipe forever. Four. X4 shop. X4. X4? Recycler. What is he saying? Nice shop. Very nice. X4. 300 fertilizer for 100 scrap. Love me. Look. Very nice. Oh, he's got the LR. Look, look. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. He told me about his shop in X4. He was selling 300 fertilizer for only 100 scrap. And with that 300 fertilizer, I could sit here in bandit camp and exchange it for 450 scrap. People do this because it takes a really long time to exchange that amount of fertilizer for that amount of scrap. But because I was stuck in bandit camp for seven days, I had all the time in the world. But it takes a long time? Bro, I've got time. <laughs> I've got time. Should we do that? I'm doing it. It's a lot of scrap gone. A lot of, a lot of, in that's a big investment. Oh, yellow perch, nice. I'm gonna have to start dropping stuff soon. Uh, wait, I can trade all this for scrap, can't I? There's a guy you can. Wait, where's the shop? I can get 24 scrap for the metal. There's nowhere I, I can't use it, so I might as well. Dead. Dead. Yeah, Dead. yes. Why? Why? All right. Wait, how much is there? Has he got more in there? How many has he got? 300 fertilizer for 100 scrap. Dude, wait. How much does that sell for? Three scrap. All right. My shop uh, X4. I've, I, yeah, I just bought. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, bro. I love you. Thank you very much. I'm going to buy again, I think. That's such a good deal, right? It takes time, but I've got time. <laughs> Day number three, this is now, I think. Not doing too bad. 163 scrap, but more on the way. We've got loads of fertilizer. Uh, a couple catfish that we need to... Let me see if I can grab another catfish real quick. And then we can do that trade. Come on. Don't break. Please. Salmon. Okay. Uh... I ain't got an inventory space for this, dude. After fishing and trading in all that fertilizer, I finally managed to get myself enough scrap to buy one of the best weapons in the game. Just getting one of the best guns in the game. As you do. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Yo. <laughs> yes. The first LR has been accomplished. 500 scrap spent. Now I have one of the best guns in the game, but my character is still very, very naked. My next goal was to work towards getting a gear set. And I now had the method down to a T. I'd fish until I get enough catfish to do the trade at the fishing village. And while I'm doing that, I'd sit there and wait for the shop for the fertilizer to restock. With my newfound riches, it didn't take long before I got myself a gear set. And on the morning of day five, my wish came true. Hey man, do you want to trade? Oh shit, man! I'm in. The, I'm in the business for a gear set. Come here. No, go to the go to the other side of the, the trade window. How much? How much would you sell your gear set for? Oh. Ooh. Uh how much? Why how much? How much for your gear? Yeah, yeah, how much? This how much? 
300? Dude. Есть квадрат не Yeah! Thanks, man! Yo, we got gifts! Man, you could be a hot seat, be charming. Thank you! Oh! I'm happy now, dude. Look at us! No longer are naked. We have upgraded in the world. It only took four or five days, but we upgraded. Yeah. All right. Look at us. We gaming. All from fishing. <laughs> you love to see it. Because I was such a baller now, the trading didn't stop there. MP5 and ammo. For 300, that's quite pricey. I'll do... I'll do 250, see what he says. 250. I need 300. I need 300. Can you add anything else? Take this and give me 300 scrap. Mm, I mean the meds, the MP5. Oh, yeah, I can, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Oh. Uh, hello? Ah! Hello? Okay. I mean, that's not too bad. He, he kind of was in a rush with the ammo. Uh, I can go trade the HQM for scrap. So it only cost me like... Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, let me go trade the HQM. Not too bad, is it? And how much metal do you give me? So I can get 10 of those. Oh, that's not too bad. We paid like 260 scrap for that. I'm not complaining. By day 6 My and 7, game. I was really running out of things to do. I even ended up giving someone some scrap just so we could play poker. Come play poker with your winnings. <gasps> Cabra, I got 50 scrap. It's a hundred scrap, scrap. buying. You need a hundred minimum. Okay, hell, man. <laughs> a 21 scrap, man. <laughs> then I can play, man. Yeah, I'll, let, I'll give you 21 scrap, okay? Come here. Cabra. I'm trusting him that he's gonna play. Alright, let's play poker. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Can we play against two people or. Yes! Oh, I got two fours. Let's go. Okay. Kiss this working now. <laughs> Does he know how to play poker? Two fours is kind of a good hand. What's he going to uh, do? All in, all in. He's going all in? All in on the first hand? You know what I call. Let's go. Come on, four. Oh, no. I won! <laughs> oh, I feel... That's soft. Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then on day seven, something miraculous happened. I ran into the guy oh, who gave us our first 10 scrap said. on this challenge. This is kind of, hey man, huh? you gave me scrap at the start. You gave me 10 scrap. Uh, um, oh, it's me? You oh, oh, it's you. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. You, 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 you gave me 10 scrap, dude. You got all, you got me all yeah. of this. I've been here oh, since you gave me that. Hey, come come here, man. Come come with me. Lol. This guy helped oh. me out. This guy helped me out a lot. Go into the top shop. Oh. Oh, oh nice. It's your oil. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, man. Yo, thank you so much. I like you so much. Yo, it's because I gave you 10 scrap. Yeah, you gave me 10 scrap at the start. Oh my god, yo. So cool. I like you. Just Here, so take, this, yo. take this, take this, take this. <laughs> Try not to die. What, what? Whoa! Thank you. No, I have a basic fight. I, 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 I'm starting J. I'm starting already. <laughs> I have a... It just goes to show that you can play Rust however you want. 
and maybe if you're friendly you never know it might repay itself down the road thank you very much for watching subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one goodbye